So now let's imagine that the two players are playing this split or steal game as a repeated game. And what we'd like to do is to create a finite state machine that is in Nash equilibrium with a copy of the same finite state machine. And the basic structure of the finite state machine is this. So it starts off in this state here. And what this state says is that the player playing this, this machine will, will, will choose split. And the arrows here say, well, if the opponent also chooses split, then uh, the player gets 6,800 and then returns back to that split state. So that it will continue to play this split as long as the opponent plays split. But if at some point the opponent switches to steal, that action will actually result in zero reward for the, the player who's running this machine for one step. But then it will change states into this, this steal state. And in the steal state, it's going to stay there for some number of times, basically punishing the other player for what it had done. But after some number of rounds of that, it returns back to the split state and is ready to cooperate again. So the question is, but how many times must the player punish? How many times it, should it go around doing this punishment loop so that the best response for the other opponent, the, the other player, is to always choose split? And for concreteness, we'll say that the discount factor here is 0 0.9.